we go. Welcome, everyone. Happy Monday. Master Trainer Keona Leah, and we are doing Waste Whittlers tonight. The last time we did this class, I had lost the SD card to my good camera. And sort of in celebration of me finding it last week, we're going to redo this class so it's available for everyone. Now, this class is a little bit of a blend of tweaks to moves to the basic workout from the T-Tap method, but we're going to swap out one move for the very end of the total workout. And then we're going to dash in a couple other moves from the second half of the workout to really target and tone the waist. This is somewhat got some principles of belly camp in it because we're talking about keeping things flat in the front, but a lot of the moves are also like twist on T-tap because using the obliques to cinch in the waist is a very, very, very important component to having success when we want to whittle the middle. So let's go ahead and take a look at oil wells are next. The most ab intensive oil wells are the ones from senior fit where we reach out and then we crunch and roll up through the spine. So we're going to do that version of this move. Remember the feet are default shoulder width apart but you have to check to make sure that your knee is directly over your ankle in order to get that activation at the lower groin. So you may have to come in slightly. Very, very rare occasion people have to go out slightly wider than their shoulders, but usually it's more common for people to have a shorter knee to ankle than a longer knee to ankle compared to their thighs. Hook those thumbs, fingers side by side. I'm gonna give you a slight side view. Twist out from those hips, hook those thumbs, hinge over, inhale, and when we reach down, we're going to reach back and reach out, two, three, four. Now from the belly, round, pull in, pull, zip up through the belly, and shoulder roll. Reach, sit back, two, three, four. From the belly, round, zip in, zip up, and shoulders. Reach out, two, three, four, round, zip in, roll up, and that's number three. Here's four, two, three, four, round, zip, roll up, and in for five. Reach out, two, three, four, zip, roll up, two, three, and number six, two, three, four, zip, roll up, two, three, and two more. Number seven, two, three, four, zip, roll up, two, three, here's our last one, eight, two, three, four, zip, roll up, and shoulder roll. Wiggle those feet in, narrow stance, bend, Belly button to spine, lace those shoulders, ribs up, reach away, inhale, hunch, make those bear claws, lace them and level them on the exhale, and clap, two, three, just four, kick, two, three, just four, march, two, three, four, grab some water. Great job, you guys. I don't know about you, but I definitely feel my waist muscles a lot more and worked up a nice sweat on that one as well. Any questions about any of the moves we did? No, I, I realized I am totally uncoordinated. <laughs> <laughs> the leg arm thing, I'm gonna have to practice that separately. And I still don't really get the organs in place, especially when we let go. Is there anything really going on there? You know, it just, I don't know. I don't actually, maybe it's because I've got too big of a belly right now, but just trying to get it in somewhere and then have it stay there doesn't seem to happen for me. So what am I doing wrong? It's just a, pro um, it's, Organs in Place does a lot of things. First and foremost, especially at the stage that you're at, it's building brain to body. 
because one of the big things that has to happen is to reconnect your brain and the nervous system to these muscles themselves. So that's part of why you kind of feel something when you have your hands there, but then you take it away and it doesn't feel like anything. It's just because your brain is still relearning how to connect to those muscles, especially for mothers. Happy Mother's Day, by the way, to you guys, um, belated. But for mothers in particular, during month, I believe it's month eight of pregnancy, the Y flexors across the bottom of the transverse abdominis, they actually loosen and release the muscle tension on purpose. The brain purposely disconnects because Delivery was hard enough. Can you imagine if this, this muscle was doing its job to hold things back up and in? So that happens, but what happens is we don't always get the physical therapy that we really would have needed to reconnect the brain and nervous system to these muscles. And then of course, if we live for an extended period of time without that connection, that's part of why we can't find that when we do organs in place. As we get better in that connection, connects, you can get in. And that's why I always say, and I'll give you guys kind of a side view. I think, yeah, you can see my belly. So that's why I always say relax this because we try and hold the muscles in like we usually do for T-tap and you don't actually get to the organs. And if you watch, even on me, and I don't have a lot here, if I relax the muscles and I can't talk while I do it, I really can get in really far. So you can see I can get all the way to this last set of knuckles pressing that actually gets up underneath those organs but it's a progression over time first we got to connect the brain then we got to be able to actually get to the organs and it just takes practice and time when i first started t-tapping and you're talking this was 18 years ago almost 19 now i was doing organs in place four or five times a day just to connect and create that connection so it takes practice and that's where this workout is actually a really good one because we did it in all the different foot positions. So it's learning, 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 learning. If you did something like that each day, you would start really feeling and noticing a difference, but it does take practice to build the connection and then to actually be able to get underneath those extra layers and actually get to it. So even if you're not feeling anything, doing it, leaving the hands in front helps too because you can push with your fingers and that again starts to create more connection to the muscles themselves but takes time and that's a good question a lot of people have of course organs in place on the floor people usually feel it much better and you can do that as well i think i was doing standing organs in place about four times a day and organs in place laying down like right before bed every night um, for the first 18 months that i started t-tapping so i learned that connection and i've never even had kids <laughs> Well, thank you. That, that really helps a lot. You're, you're so welcome. Is develop a brain body connection. Yeah. So that gives me more meat, so to speak, to um, hold on to. Yay. Awesome. Well, great work, you guys. We'll do more of these, and we will look at that for on the floor over the weekend since we're doing Waste Whittlers all week on the social media channels. And I'm kind of excited. I have something super fun that I learned with my nutritionist last Friday that I'm going to be sharing on Wellness Wednesday as well. So oh, I just have to tell you, I won't be able to be here next Monday to do a holiday. Oh, so, right. Um, I won't, so I won't be looking at my phone or responding to texts or anything like that. So. I'll, I'll try and remember to write myself a note so I don't keep looking for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, okay. you guys. Thank you.